Welcome to our channel Blender Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create this beautiful animation by using the array modifier to create these boxes and uh, rigid body physics properties to create this beautiful simulation. If you want to download this project file, then you can visit my Patreon page. The link of the Patreon is in description. So let's start. First, I open the Blender, select all and delete everything then press shift a to add a plane and scale it something like here and uh, enter into the edit mode of this plane i also turn on the screen cast keys because you can see which i press nice and open this panel and uh, i extrude this plane along the z axis something like here and uh, press 3 for face selection and select this face and i also scale it to something like here and uh, delete this face beautiful and back to the object mode now press shift a to add a cube and uh, i scale this cube down like here and press 1 for front view and enter into the wireframe mode and move this cube above the plane which i created beautiful now back to the solid view and now i apply the modifier in modifier section i open the modifier and here i apply the array modifier and here i choose the distance between these two 1.02 something like here and i also increase the number of counts 10 beautiful and now i add another array modifier and uh, this time count the number 10 and here i put 0 and here i enter 1.02 nice now i add another array modifier and uh, here i type 10 and here i type 0 and now i choose x z axis here i type 0 0.2 beautiful nice and press 7 for front view and i move this these boxes in the middle of the 3d cursors something like here beautiful uh, you can see that all these boxes are in a single object so to separate them first i apply all these three modifier one by one here and uh, now enter into the edit mode and uh, in mesh i choose the option separate and here i select by loose parts and here uh, you can see that all these boxes are separated into the individual cubes nice now i apply all these cubes to have its own origin so for that back to the object mode and here in object i apply the set origin to the geometry here all these cubes have their own origin nice now i apply the rigid body physics to these object so for that i enter into the rigid body panel physics panel and here i apply the rigid body and here i decrease the mass point 100 and uh, i want this these uh, rigid body settings all of these cubes so for that an object i enter into the option rigid body and here i choose the option copy from active it's mean that these rigid body settings are applied to all these objects and here you can see that if we select any body any cube then all have a rigid body settings beautiful now i apply i add another object i select the cone 
and uh, move this along z axis something like here and rotate this along x axis to 180 degree beautiful and press 7 for top view and scale this cone something like here beautiful now i apply also this body to this cone and here i increase the mass of this cone 1000 kg because when this cone fall on these cubes then they are collide with this cube and disperse these cubes and uh, here the shape i select the mesh beautiful and now i select this plane and i also apply the rigid body settings and uh, here i choose the shape mesh now our scene is ready and uh, i bake this simulation so for that first i run the simulation and check the result after checking and baking you can see that our simulation is ready and now it's time to add material properties to our scene so back to the first frame and i apply material to our scene so first i applied material to these cubes i want to apply different materials so for that i open the shader editor and uh, close this panel and here i hit the button new material and uh, here i add the object info here is object info and uh, here i add another node which is color ramp beautiful and i connect the random of the object info with the factor and here i also with the base color and enter into the material view now i open another panel and here i change this into the image editor and here i open and in my desktop i choose this image which consists of a different colors ball and now i take my cursor on the color ramp here and i press alt e which convert our cursor into the eyedropper and here i choose the color which i want to apply and also select this color and green beautiful and now i enter into the wireframe mode here and press one for face front view and here i select all these cubes and by pressing shift deselect this and also select and last and now press control l and here i apply all these materials to all object here i choose link material beautiful now in material view you can see that our materials are added to the cube randomly with the help of object info node beautiful now i select this plane and hit the new button and here i apply the material here i choose the brick textures and i connect with this beautiful and here i scale down the brick size beautiful after applying materials you can see that our simulation is ready and now we can play this simulation and this will create a nice beautiful rigid body result so in this way by applying array modifiers and rigid body physics properties you can easily create this kind of animation thanks for watching